The sun provides enough solar energy every single hour to meet our planet's energy needs for an entire year. But with an efficiency of only 10 to 20 percent, current solar technology converts only a fraction of this energy into usable electricity. However, a new hybrid solar panel can harness four times more energy per installed area compared to conventional photovoltaic cells, achieving a record-breaking efficiency of up to 94 percent. And by combining this hybrid solar module with a heat pump, the system is even able to provide 100 percent energy independence for an entire family home. A perfect self-sufficient system that realizes many people's dream of living off the grid. In fact, this could be the key technology for the renewable energy supply of our buildings. But how does it actually work? How does it compare to conventional photovoltaic cells? And can it really hold its promise? We did all the research you need to know and covered in this video. Solar energy is becoming an increasingly important renewable energy source. However, current photovoltaic technology has a major conceptual problem. It converts only around 20% of solar radiation into usable electricity, while the rest of the energy is lost to heat. This problem even worsens in the summer months, as the efficiency of photovoltaic cells is temperature dependent. At temperatures of around 60 degrees Celsius, there's a 20 to 30% loss in performance. So especially in the summer, when a lot of sunlight is available, most solar energy is lost to heat. That's exactly where the hybrid solar panel comes into play, converting the lost heat into usable electricity. However, just as important as energy security is, so is cybersecurity these days. Every minute you spend online, companies track who you are and what you're doing. And even if those companies have no malicious intentions for the data, it can fall into the hands of someone who does. For instance, a most recent data link exposed 1.5 billion real estate records, including those of well-known celebrities like Elon Musk. Hence, no one is really safe unless they protect themselves online. I use Surfshark VPN, a virtual private network that encrypts all my data and changes my virtual location to keep my online identity safe and protect myself against cyber criminals. By changing my virtual location, I can also fully access the internet and avoid government restrictions and censorship when researching a new video. Another additional benefit is to get better prices when shopping online. With Surfshark VPN, you avoid price discrimination by companies that use browser cookies to make their products more expensive based on your location and shopping behavior. So give it a try and secure your privacy with Surfshark for just $2.69 per month. Hit the link in the description and use the code THEFUTURIST to get an additional three months for free. And if you don't like it, it's fully refundable within 30 days. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Back to our topic. The hybrid solar panel combines photovoltaics and solar thermal energy in one single module. A so-called photovoltaic thermal collector, or PVT for short. They are actually nothing new and have been researched since the 1970s. However, demand has just started to increase recently as they produce four times more energy per installed area compared to conventional solar cells. But before we talk about all its advantages, let's first understand how it actually works. The basic principle behind PVT collectors is relatively simple. There is a built-in tube system behind the photovoltaic cell made from highly conductive materials like copper, which contains a heat transfer medium inside. When solar radiation heats up the photovoltaic cell, the tube system extracts the heat, acting as a coolant circuit, making the photovoltaic cell run more efficiently and increasing its electricity yield. But the extracted heat can now also be used for heating water and space. It can be used as a heat source for heat pumps, which further increases the system's overall efficiency. In fact, research conducted by the German Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems suggests that combining heat pumps and PVT collectors might be the key solution for the energy supply of buildings. But more on that in a minute. Because there are actually four different types of PVT collectors, with each having their advantages and disadvantages. The first distinction is made based on the heat transfer medium. They contain either a gas-based medium, usually air, or a liquid-based medium, usually water. 
While air has poor heat transfer properties, it is significantly cheaper and simpler than liquid-based collectors. However, PVT collectors are also divided into covered and uncovered systems, defining their optimized use case. Just as the name suggests, covered collectors contain an additional glass layer placed on the photovoltaic cell. The additional front cover minimizes losing heat, thus increasing the module's overall temperature and generating more thermal heat. So the covered collector is optimized for heat generation, but it also decreases electricity production as the performance of the PV cell is negatively affected at higher temperatures. Uncovered collectors, on the other hand, do not have this additional glass layer. Therefore, heat can easily escape and the module's temperature does not increase too much. So uncovered collectors generate less thermal energy but are optimized for electricity production. In this case, the tube system acts primarily as a cooling system. While this effect isn't that huge, it is worth mentioning. As some sources report, about 6 to 10% more electricity yield annually. But cooling the PV module literally increases its overall lifespan as the PV materials are protected from overheating. The most obvious advantage of PVT collectors, however, is their high energy conversion rates. Various studies show that PVT collectors can reach energy efficiencies anywhere between 31 and 94 percent, depending on which system is used specifically. But even the lowest value of 31 percent is significantly higher than the average 20 percent efficiency of traditional PV panels. However, as we already stated, the biggest advantage comes when it's combined with heat pumps. And here's why. Heat pumps require a heat source, which usually is surrounding air or geothermal energy ground-based heat pumps are the more attractive choice, as geothermal is a more reliable heat source across seasons with low operating cost, high efficiency, and a lifespan of over 50 years. However, the main disadvantage is extremely high upfront cost, and it requires a lot of space for drilling, which makes it very complex to deploy in cities or certain areas. This is where the hybrid model can offer a more attractive heat source. In fact, practical tests combining PVT collectors and heat pumps conducted over several months on apartment and office buildings in Germany found that the heat pump of the demonstration system ran even under unfavorable conditions with an increased thermal output of up to 300%. Even with the reduced area ratio, it was possible to provide temperatures for domestic hot water preparation and radiator heating. This is a very important conclusion, considering that heating space and water collectively amounts to more than 60% of household energy consumption in the United States, according to the Energy Information Administration. The share is even higher in European households, where heating space and water accounts for 79% of the energy demand. So PVT systems could be the key solution for a renewable energy supply, but they still have some major problems to overcome. The first problem is this is a relatively new and rare technology, with just a handful of companies providing PVT solutions. Installing such hybrid panels is a lot more complex and requires higher technical expertise. A lack of skilled labor is currently hindering such innovations. But the biggest problem currently is cost. A conventional photovoltaic system priced at approximately $1,400 to $2,000 per kilowatt of power. Therefore, an average PV system with 4.9 kilowatt hours would cost about $10,000, including installation. Sure, the cost may vary significantly based on location, but these are just approximate numbers. For a PVT system with the same power output, the module alone costs around $10,000 without installation. The significantly higher acquisition costs are a challenge for PVT systems. However, the payoff time is hard to calculate because of many individual factors that have to be priced in. However, as the PVT market has experienced huge growth over the past few years, the market is developing really fast, and prices can drop significantly over the coming few years. But the biggest problem with solar panels is their time dependency. Without a comprehensive energy storage system, they won't deliver the energy at night. These battery systems can be very expensive. A new liquid battery breakthrough promises to deliver low-cost stationary batteries for solar power generation. Check the displayed video to learn more about this technology and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this.